Hello friends, Satyendra here and in today's video we will see why we need swap plans in Swordworks and what are the terms and conditions required to perform it. So let's get started. So this is my sheet metal drawing and this we will do first in Creo Parametric and then we will try in Swordworks. So to do this we have some of the dimensions here. The total length of this part is 3 inches and this one is 2 inches. The height is 1.5 inches. The flange height is 0.3 inches. So let's do this in Creo Parametric first and then we'll do in Solvers. So this is my Creo Parametric. I have done the first feature and if I edit the sketch of this feature, I get all the required dimension as per the PDF. Now this is 2 inches, 1.5 inches. If I say OK, I have taken this inner radius as 0.5 which is there in my PDF. And then I have given the total height a total length of this part 3 inches. So my first feature is ready. Now I have flanges over here 0.3 inches and same flange will come this side also. So let's create the flange. I'll select this edge. I'll press shift button and I'll select the entire edge. Now the flange height is 0.3 inches. I'll type 0.3 and I'll say OK. Same thing I'll repeat this side. I'll go for flange. I'll select this edge. I'll press shift button and I'll click this. Then I will make it 0.3. And that's it. My part is done. So in three features I have done this part in Creo Parametric. It is very simple part. Now if I click on flat pattern, I will get flat pattern like this. So my part is ready now in Creo Parametric. The same thing we will do in Sardbox now. But before that, I have a request to all of you, whoever is watching this video. You just pause this video for a moment and see this PDF. This drawing is very simple, less features, and you just saw the approach to do this in Creo Parametric. Now this simple part, you try this in Sardworks by your own before watching this video just to understand how difficult it is in Sardworks. You try this by edge flange or by miter flange or you can even try by swept flange if you know how to use swept flange in Sardworks. I am damn sure that it is not going to be easy in Sardworks. Even though you know swept flange, it is going to be very difficult in Sardworks. And once you have tried by your own, you can continue watching this video. So this is my sword works and this is the part we are going to do now. This part was very simple in Creo Parametric. We just did by general commands only. But here in sword works it is slightly difficult. So to do this in sword works, first understand the concept. And to explain the concept, I have three different parts here. First is this part. And then second is part two, which is the first feature, a base feature. And then one more part we have, which is a flat part. And to explain the concept of swept flange, I'll take a simple example of sheet metal tray. Something like this. This is a deformed sheet metal part. And if I want to build a part like this, if I use edge flange or miter flange, I'll get similar result like this. So if you see this part and that part, you'll see that there is an opening here. But in the same case, if you see this part, this is a formed one. There is no opening here. It is a rounded one. So if you try miter flange or edge flange, you will not get output like that. So to get output like that, you need to use swept flange here in Swordworks. So now let us try the swept flange to get the desired result. And for that, I'll first delete this. And now I'll go for swept flange. You can access swept flange from insert, sheet metal, and you have swept flange here. And to create a swept flange, the first condition is you need to create a sketch first. And then the sketching plane should be normal to the profile. That means your sketch should be normal to the path through which it will flow. So let's create a sketch first. 
I'll go to the sketch first. I'll select this face as a sketching plane because my path is going to be like this. And the first condition is your sketch should be normal to the path. I'll draw one line here with some height. I'll say okay. Now I'll go for sheet metal, sweat flange. I will select this as a section and then I will select path. I'll start from here. Now you can see the preview coming here. Suppose I remove all this and this time I'll start from this way. If I click here, it will not take this as a sweat flange section. Because this section is not normal to this path, the sketching plane is normal to this path only. So we need to take from here, something like this. So by this concept, you can build a swept flange around a planar surface. If you have planar surface, you can select their edges as a path. And the only condition is your section should be normal to the path and linked with the path. Now the only question is can we use the same concept for this part. If I go to part 2, here is my part, I have done the base feature as per the PDF dimension. If I go to PDF, I have used 2 inches, 1.5 inches, 3 inches and this 0.5 radius to build the base feature. And now I need to add the two flanges. So this is my base feature. If I edit the sketch of this feature, I get all those dimensions, one and a half inches, two inches and 0.5 radius. Now if I come out from this and if I edit this feature, here I have three inches, the total length of this feature. Now the last thing is I need to add one flange here to this end and one flange here to this end. So can we use the same concept here to build the flange? So let's try the same concept here. So I need a flange which is passing through these edges. This, 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 till the end of this. So in that case, my sketch plane will be this, normal to this path. So I'll go to sketch. I'll draw one line here. And this height I will take 0.3 inches. Say OK. Now I will go to sheet metal. I will say swept flange. And automatically this got selected as a section. Now path. I will click this. The moment I click here, it shows the preview. That means it is taking this. But if you click this edges, the preview vanishes. It doesn't appear. If you select all this and say OK, you get an error. Some of the input edges are invalid. That means this concept will only work when you have coplanar edges. Here these edges are not coplanar edges. The planes are keep changing here. So this concept will not work here. If you have only one surface, something like this, this is the one surface. If you have all edges related to this surface, then this concept will work. Otherwise, this concept will not work where the planes are getting changed. Now I'll try edge flange and matter flange in this case. So first I'll delete this. And then I'll go for edge flange. If you create edge flange here, something like this, you can't add this round edge. You can have these three edges, but these two edges you can't add. So edge flange will not work. If I go for matter flange, I'll select this as a sketch plane. I will create one line here from here to here. Dimension. 
0.3 here also it only follows till this end don't continue throughout the edge if you select throughout the edge again you will have this uh, gap say ok and you get output something like this which is not our desired output so I'll delete this then what option we have left to do this kind of part so for that we'll go to this part now you see the part is totally ready and uh, we have done using swept flange if you go inside this folder I have done with swept flange but the complete part is done with a single feature so now you can see that the complete part is done by single feature and this is the only way you can do this kind of simple parts in solidworks if I edit this feature you see here sketch as a success so this is my sketch which is linked with this path this is the path now I'll just show you the two different sketches here one is this and second one is this so just open this this is a sketch where I have used one and a half inch two inch and 0.5 radius first sketch is this and then I have this sketch if you go to this sketch you will see that this sketch is linked with the first path and then I have used 0.3 inches of flange and the total length of this part 3 inches so if I delete this feature I get something like this and now here it is linked both the sketches are linked with each other this is my path and this is my section so I'll go for swept flange and at section I will select this sketch and path I will select this sketch and this will be done in a single feature now say ok now if you click on flat pattern you get similar flat pattern if I go and edit this and select this as a fixed face I get like this so this is similar to our creo flat pattern but the only thing is you need to keep one thing in your mind that whenever you have non coplanar flanges you need to do by two different sketches you can't go with base feature something like this and two flanges this concept will not work here so now here you can see three different concepts one is this one where you have a base flange and then you added a swept flange all around that this is a coplanar edges and then second one is here this concept will not work here even if I try this like this for first is this it takes if I say ok it will build the feature but it will not flow throughout the edge and then this concept where you have to have two separate sketches linked with each other to build the complete part so I hope this will clear the concept of swept flange completely and it will be useful to build this kind of sweep based sheet metal part so this is it guys now like this video if the video is helpful share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel for further updates